In this video, we're gonna talk about kites, specifically finding the perimeter and the area of these two given, these two kites, here and another one. So let's start with this first example. Find the perimeter and the area of this kite. Now I have a kite here that has 24 centimeter in this part and this side and 32 on the other the diagonal half of the diagonal is 12 centimeter so using this information let's find the perimeter and area of this given in finding the perimeter we can just add the measure of all the sides of this kite it also works on any type of polygon and in here we only got two side that is already measured 24 and 32 we have no data in here and here yet and this one will help us a kite is a special type of quadrilateral wherein two consecutive sides are congruent. Sabihin lang, two consecutive sides, magkasunod na side consecutive, ay congruent. So kung anong measure ng side na to, side KE, ay siya measure ng side TE. Dahil consecutive side ng kite is congruent. Siyempre gagamit tayo ng common sense kahit si EK at si KI ay consecutive. Of course naman, or obvious naman, sa picture na hindi sila congruent. Ito maikli, ito mahaba. So dito, yung consecutive side ng kite ay congruent. Meaning, kung anong measure nito, 24, ay measure din ng kanya consecutive side. So this one here is also 24 centimeter and also this 32 centimeter. Now we can solve for the perimeter. P is equal to 24 plus 24. Just add all the measure of the side plus 32 plus 32. And if you use your calculator or if you're really good in adding integers, numbers, the answer for that is 72. Oh no, no. 112. 1, 12 and the unit is centimeter so the perimeter for this given is 112 centimeter we find that by adding all the sides and to find all the sides the measure of the side we use the property one of the property of the kites we're in, in by, by definition of the kite kite is a type of quadrilateral that has two consecutive sides or the two consecutive sides are congruent next finding the area now the formula for the area of a kite is 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 equal to the sa or the product of the two diagonals Ito yun diagonal multiply natin yung measure nito and ito divided by 2 that's the formula for the kite and the only thing the only data that we got is the 12 cm little 12 cm here and the shorter the shorter diagonal bisects by the longer diagonal so if we have 12 cm here, it is obvious that the other the other part of the diagonal is also 12, which makes our first diagonal or the short the, the shorter diagonal equal to 24. Kasi 12 plus 12, 24. Meron na tayong D sub 1 or yung diagonal 1 natin. 24. Ang nawawala na lang is yung ito yung second diagonal natin. Now, to find that, let's name that as X and Y because we're going to 
find what the value of this x and y here and to do that we can use Pythagorean theorem because in definition again diagonals of a kite ito, are per perpendicular to each other meaning perpendicular sila they form a 90 degree when intersect so 90 degree to 90 degree din yung kabila ito lahat yan 90 degree ang gagawin natin we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the x kasi meron tayo 24, 12 to find the missing side of the triangle ba triangle to we can use the Pythagorean theorem which is c squared equals a squared plus b squared c is the hypotenuse or C, hypotenuse is the longest side in this case we have 24 as the longest side yeah. yung mag, ano natin ay c squared equals a squared plus b squared and yung c natin ay yung hypotenuse pinakamahabang side 24 square equal yung a natin 12 squared plus yung b natin ginawa nating x x squared 24 squared is 576 576 equals 12 squared is 144 plus x squared counting algebra lang subtraction property of quality magiging itong x squared equals 576 minus 144 x squared 576 minus 144 432 and get the square root of both sides to cancel the squared magiging na lang x equals 12 square root of 3 let's find the y yung y natin ganun din ang longest side natin is 32 kaya 32 squared equals a squared no equals a squared sige tuloy natin b squared so 32 squared equals yung a natin ay yung 12 12 squared plus yung b natin is yung y squared lipat natin y squared equals 32 squared minus 12 squared Lalabas dito ay um, 880 Sinabtra ko na ito ah, 32 squared minus 12 squared 880 Get the square root Y equals 4 square root of 55 Now medyo mahaba na pero wag malilito Ginagawa lang natin to to get the d sub 2 para mahanap yung diagonal na mahaba. So, itong x na compute natin, 12 square root of 3. Ito na siya. Yung y natin is 4 square root of 55. Now, we can now apply the formula for the area. So, a is equal to d sub 1 times d sub 2 all over 2 so a equals yung d sub 1 natin ito 12 and 12 so 24 times 12 square root of 3 plus 4 square root of 55 hindi ko na sila muna i-add sasama ko na lang sa isang bracket para hindi tayo mahirapan plus 4 square root of 55 ah di kasha Yan. Then if you use your calculator all, all over the pala The answer that you will get Is 6 Approximately Approximate na lang 605.392 Cm squared Nalagyan ko lang ng unit. But, papakita lang sa calculator. Here. Tinipe ko. Ito. 
to. So, ang sagot dyan ay 605, 392,8437. So, 605.339, kaya 39 na lang centimeter square. Teka, mali pala ako, 93 to. But, approximate, approximate lang to, 605.39 centimeter square. That is the area of the sky. The perimeter is 112 centimeter. And the area is 605 centimeters squared. And we do that by finding the longer diagonal. And to find that, we use the property or we use the definition of the kite that the diagonal when intersect form a 90 degree angle. And since it forms a 90 degree ng angle, the triangle that you form inside the kites are right and right triangle kaya pwede tayong gumamit ng Pythagorean to find the x and y then just add them apply the formula that's all let's try another number so f i and is a kite and triangle d u f is a 30 60 90 degree triangle where measure of angle d is 30 degrees now, measure of angle D is 30 degrees. Mahalaga yun. Sulat na natin agad. Then, ano pa ba sa atin? 30, 60, 90 daw. But first, let's find the per per perimeter of this one. The perimeter is equal to, alam natin ito ay congruent. Ito rin, congruent dito. Kaya huwag natin patagalin. 12 plus 12 plus 24 plus 24 and the answer for that is 72 ayun yung 72 decimeter then to find the area again we don't have the measurement for this and this one we don't even have a value for the half of the shorter side kaya hindi tayo pwede gumamit ng Pythagorean theorem but what we can use is this, the 30-60-90 triangle, uh, special right triangle. Now, ito yun. This is an example of 30-60-90 and we can see the properties here. The C is the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is equal to the twice of the shorter leg, which is yung A. So, kung ano daw measure nito, twice ng measure ni C. So, kung meron ka ditong 3, ang measure nito ay 2 times mo lang. Kung meron ka ditong 3, ang C mo is 6. Kung meron ka naman ditong 3, ang B mo or yung longer side mo or longer legs is 3 square root of 3. So, ito yung properties na yun. Hindi na ako magdidig into details dito. Kasi focus tayo sa kite. So, just remind you of this property. I hope you have a background knowledge about this one. So, let's use that. 30, 60, 90. Ito daw yung 30. So, of course, yung katapat ng 90 is yung shorter side. Ito yung A natin. Ngayon, yung A natin, ito daw yung C. So, C is equal to 2 times the A. And... The measure of C is 12. So, konting algebra lang. Kung yung C natin is 12, C is equal to 12. And C is equal to 2A. Parang ganito. Uh, dito galing, 12 equals 2A. Pag A lang yung hinanap natin, divide natin both side by 2 maka-cancel lang matitira is yung A na lang. A is equal to 12 divided by 2 is 6. ba? Tama naman. 6 times 2 is 12. So, yung A natin dito, yung A natin dito ay 6. Kasi 6 times 2 is 12. So, gaya dito sa properties natin. Then, to get the B, yung B dito, B is equal lang kay a square root of 3. Ano bang bali ng A natin? 6. Kaya ang B natin is equal kay 
6 square root of 3. Okay na? Ayan yung ating measure. Markahan ko lang para di nakakalito. Ang A natin is 6. Ito, 6 yan. Then yung B natin is 6 square root of 3. Yung C natin is 12 decimeter or 12, simply 12. Then now we have, maring, we have D6. So, yung nasa baba, 6 din. Ang hahanapin na lang natin is yung longer part ng second diagonal. Ah, uh, here, we can finally use the Pythagorean. Kasi meron na tayong hypotenuse, shorter leg, nawawala is yung longer leg. So, uh, Pythagorean tayo. Dito ko na lang ilagay. 24 squared, kasi ito yung C, equals yung A natin, is 6 squared, plus yung ito nawawala. Let's say ito yung Y, Y squared. Lipat lang natin, Y squared equals 24 squared, minus 6 squared, and the answer that we will get is 540. Kayo na mag-input sa calculator nyo, ha? masyado na mahaba yung video, tatama rin na kayo manood. Equals 540 I get the square root Square root, square root Magiging y Equals 6 square root of 15 And that is the measure of the Longer Side of the second Diagonal 6 Square root 15 and we can finally use the formula for the area. A is equal to yung D sub 1 natin is 6 plus 6, 12. Multiply sa sum ng ano natin. Or kahit yung diagonal lang but since may square root square root sila mahirapan pa tayo mag add magbubutal pa yan sulat na lang natin dito 6 square root of 3 plus 6 square root of 15 over 2 A is equal to madidivide natin to kaya magiging 6 times the 6 square root of 3 plus 6 square root of 15 and if we, you input this on calculator, the answer that you will, you will get is approximately, approximate, 201.78 centimeter squared. And that's the area for this. Perimeter 72, area is 201.78. And I will cut the video in this. And good luck to your module. I hope you learned from this video and thank you for watching. Goodbye.